What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Asics Men's Gel Content 6 Running Shoes I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods for $39.98 down from $64.99. Out of five stars, these get four and a half out of five out of 43 customer reviews. They come in about six different colors, gray on black, gray on gray, blue yellow, blue, black on black, and black on gray. They range in between sizes seven and 14, come in a shoe width of medium diameter or extra wide for E, and can be had using curbside contactless pickup courtesy of Dick's Sporting Goods. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of the Asics Gel Contender 6 running shoes and we're going to be trying them on and we're going to be comparing them to my Brooks Adrenaline GTS 19. I also picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods a little bit over a year ago for about $135. I'm going to show you how they've worn and why I went for the Asics Gel Contend 6 as opposed to going for the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20, which were also 130 bucks. As you can tell from the beginning of the video, yes, these were on sale. I'm on a bit of a budget. I needed a nice pair of running shoes that I could walk around the neighborhood in, that I could exercise in, but also a pair that looks stylish enough that I could also wear to work. I currently work at a UPS store, so I'm on my feet all day long for hours on end, so I'm really gonna need something that's cushiony, that's supportive, and one that will also be able to allow me to work out in them and take them to work. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the box. As you can see, I've got the display unit here. I had to pick them up in 11 and a half, which is my size. Now, with running shoes, you usually wanna get the size that fits you most accurately because you don't want your foot sliding around. And then if we just pull out the shoe here, we can see that they're this very stylish blue on yellow. I think the official name of the shoe is Grand Shark Vibrant Yellow. Of course, you're not gonna find that on the Dick's Sporting Goods website, but you can see you've got Gel Content 6, the logo or the brand uh, sort of uh, written on the side of the shoe, which is really nice. Plenty of character here. Uh, I wear sort of dark, pants to work so these will blend in nicely these will match nicely uh, and then as you can tell like I said earlier I wanted something that was cushiony or well cushioned uh, you get a really nice uh, anchor collar here with plenty of padding uh, and of course because they are ASICs you can pretty much count on them to be comfortable and supportive right so they have what's called Ample foam technology, I think you can see that in there. It says ample foam technology at the bottom there in yellow. And they are advertising everyday comfort. So yeah, you can definitely wear these to work and enjoy them that way. Or if you wanna wear them to the gym, you can also do that, which I really like. So uh, they're not the highest quality sneaker. Uh, there are some little imperfections here. You can see there's a little bit of fraying there on the edge between the seams, between this really nice mesh upper and this sort of uh, suede uh, toe stomp here, which I really like. Uh, to give it some character, obviously, the toe stomp is black to match the bottom of the shoe. Uh, as you can see, it's a perfectly new tread. These haven't been worn before, which is always good to see. And it looks like there are plenty of uh, grooves so that you can maybe run on the dirt or on the pavement or on the treadmill. Uh, you can pretty much use these wherever you need to. Uh, you get the ASICS logo on the bottom there, which is really nice. No shortness of branding here. You get the Amplifoam technology logo on the back of the shoe on the sole or on the heel stomp there. And you get what's really nice is it looks like uh, some impact resistance here and I think that's demarcated by these character lines on the sole of the shoe itself. Uh, this design is very uh, indicative of an ASICS shoe. You won't find this design on any other type of running shoe or athletic shoe or sports shoe. You know with the Nike you get the Nike check 
with ASICs, you get this sort of um, cross pattern here, which I really like. Uh, it's notorious of ASICs. I've noticed this pattern on all ASICs shoes from since I've been a little kid. And uh, finally, I got myself a pair. So uh, you get round, sort of thick laces, which is good to see. Uh, so basically, you know, they should be pretty durable and easy to replace should they become frayed or uh, torn in any way. And then at the top of the sneaker here, you get another ASICS logo in yellow to contrast nicely with the blue of the shoe. As you can see, that ASICS pattern uh, sort of makes its way up towards the laces here. You can see that the uh, lace holders have a little bit of that yellow pattern surrounding them. Uh, it's two and two on each side there. You can see that. That looks pretty good. It gives the shoe some character. Uh, what I really like is the mesh goes all the way around the shoe, uh, all the way around the side, and then finishes off at the back here. On the back, it's a pretty stiff heel. You wouldn't want a uh, soft heel. You also get a little bit of deviated stitching, which I like, which gives the shoe some added character. Uh, I think the blue kind of disguises how uh, low rung these are. These aren't at the very top of the food chain in terms of running sneakers, but I think once you see them in blue, uh, you might want them in a different color, but to me, I think they look the best in blue. I think they have the most character in blue. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like together. Let's go ahead and compare them to my Brooks Adrenaline GTS 19, which are incredibly warm. I paid about $130 for these shoes uh, over about a year and a half ago. They've been phenomenal, but as you can see, the tread is coming off in pieces here. It's like a foam type of tread, the Brooks Adrenaline GTS. They're very comfortable, uh, but uh, my knees are starting to hurt when I walk in them because there's just no support. There's you know, no cushion. And I've actually noticed that I've gotten some blisters. Uh, also, if it's raining out, you're not gonna have any traction running. Uh, and as you can see here, they've worn really well. Uh, for them being a mesh material, they've only torn slightly. There's actually a hole in the front of this one. Uh, you can actually see my foot when I put them, when I put my feet inside the shoe. And um, we'll be, you know, sad to see them go, but uh, without further ado, I think we need to go ahead and try these on and see how comfortable they are. Okay, so there are the ASICS Gel Content 6. I've got them unlaced and ready to go. Uh, what I've noticed so far is uh, you do have to sort of separate the uh, sides of the shoe from the tongue a little bit because it is a little bit tight getting my foot in, but no worries, they're 11 and a half. They fit uh, perfect. Uh, my toe is right up to the toe of the shoe, which is exactly where you want it. You don't want your foot sliding around, but it's not protruding through the front of the shoe. Okay, so they're not too small. They're pretty much perfect. Okay, let's see how comfortable they are. So, ooh, these are nice. I did not try, well, I slipped them on at the store with one of those fake socks, you know? but those are never as accurate as an actual thick sock. And there are my Brooks Adrenaline GTS 19. I love my Brooks, but these are actually really comfortable. Uh, they're extremely grippy on the tile, obviously, but uh, that should give you an idea of how grippy they're gonna be on the concrete or on the asphalt, wherever you're running. Uh, what I like is the laces are long enough that you can tie them confidently, but they're not too long to the point where they're leaning over the side of the shoe and you're afraid of stepping on them. Uh, here's how they look on foot, by the way. Uh, I think pretty stylish with a low profile sock like the one I'm wearing. Really, really comfortable. Uh, even though my foot goes all the way up to the front of the shoe, it's actually perfect. They're on there really nice and tight. Not too tight, but a comfortable tight. Like my foot's not moving around, I know they're secure, and I know it's not gonna aggravate my knees. So yeah, that is the ASICS Gel Content 6 on foot. I think they look really good. Um, as you can see, that sort of pattern carries over onto the left side of the shoe or the inside of the shoe. 
as well as the outside. So that's really awesome. That's a very premium feature. Uh, not a lot of Nike running shoes have the Nike check on the inside, but I think if this shoe did not have that pattern on the inside, they would look just a little bit dull, a little bit lifeless. Get the ASIC logo on the back there, which I love, and you can see the perforations in the sole, and then it contrasts with the black uh, tread on the bottom there. Really comfortable, really nice form-fitting shoe. This is exactly what you want if you're going to be running or walking, exercising on a regular basis. Yeah, really happy I picked these up for $39.98, down from $64.99. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the unboxing and the first impressions of the Asics Men's Gel Content 6 running shoes I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit taller standing in these shoes than I was when I was just standing here at my feet a few minutes ago at the very beginning of the video. Because I picked these shoes up at Dick's Sporting Goods, that makes them a big box good. For $39.98, down from $64.99. Out of five stars, they get four and a half out of five out of 43 customer reviews. Really comfortable pair of running shoes. I feel confident wearing them. And that's because I picked them up in the size for me, or the size that fits me best, which is 11 and a half. So anyways, guys, my name is John. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.